200 steps later, I've made it up to the top, the rooftop of this gorgeous place of Franks here. Now, I'm in the middle of Paris, so all the places here are quite small, narrow and petite, but look where I am. An absolutely stunning rooftop overlooking all of Paris. Love it. Mm, but I've kind of locked myself in here. I'm going to get down. Oh, just go under. Oh, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> now, there's a staple dish in Vietnam called pho, which is a beef noodle soup with rice noodles. Now, I've been told that pho actually came from a French dish called pot au feu. Now, I'm here in Paris to cook pot au feu for the first time to see if there is a connection between pho and pot au feu. And just looking at the ingredients now, it seems like there actually is. I've got some beef cheeks here, some beef shoulder, and the beef bones with all that lovely marrow and some wonderful vegetables that I'm going to extract all the lovely sweet juices from to make a nice beef dish. So what you need to do first is clean the meat. I'm going to throw that in the hot water, and I'm just going to clean it all up just to get all of the impurities out of the meat. Now, great, that's all come really, really clean. So I'm going to take that off the heat. And I've got around six litres of water here. Bring that to the boil. You hear that? The sirens, sound of Paris. Now, to my water, I'm going to put some onions, which I've cut in half. Just need around two onions. Now, what I've done here, I've got some cloves, and I've just poked it into my onions. Now, already we have cloves and onions, which is also in pho when you're making the broth. So I think it's definitely connected to pho, for sure. Now, I've also got a bouquet garni used in most French dishes. It's mainly with parsley, some thyme, and some bay leaves as well. I'm going to throw that in just to make it really, really aromatic. I'm also going to throw in my bones as well. Okay, I'm going to bring some sea salt into it, some black pepper. Now, now I, I need to cook this for a good two and a half hours just to let all the flavours come out of the bones and all the beef shoulder, the cheeks, it gets really, really tender. Now once the water reaches the boil, I'm going to skim all the impurities again because I want a really clean, clear broth. So after two and a half hours, I add my leeks, turnips, celery, cabbage, potatoes and my carrots and cook for another 30 minutes until tender and it's done. It's been almost three hours. My pot of has been simming slowly, slowly away and I've just been really enjoying drinking my red wine and checking out this magnificent view. Let's have a bit of a taste test now. The stock has reduced quite a lot. Oh, really clean, really light. I can taste a hint of cloves. All the vegetables and the bones are giving so much flavour and sweetness. And the beef, look at that, is just so soft and tender. That looks great. I'm going to garnish with a bit of chopped parsley over the top. That's my pot of feu.